Really, sir? <laughs> you are first. It is time. It is the finale stream of the devil in me. I am excited. I'm also a little scared because um, we kept everyone alive um, up until now and I am scared that we are going to break them. I don't know if that's going to happen. I have no idea. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I'm really curious if we're gonna fuck it up. Or fuck it up, really. Or if we're uh, gonna be just fine. Um, so yeah, how have you been, Lisa? It's been a whole week since we've last seen each other on stream. So how have you, uh, how have you been? How have you been? How have you been, my friend, 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 friend? <sighs> You're okay? Yeah, I'm... I'm okay-ish. I mean, a lot has happened in that whole week. But, um... Yeah, I guess I'm doing somewhat okay. Yeah. I mean, I had a concert last Wednesday. I went to the film today. Um, I managed to submit my essay in time. And tomorrow I'm going to go for dinner with my nephew and his girlfriend who is pregnant. And on Tuesday I have another concert. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay. I mean, yeah. It's okay-ish, definitely. Definitely. Uh, let me double check this, by the way. Oh, that's working just fine. All right, good. I still need to try and figure out how to change my banner because it still has the wrong uh, picture and uh, social media um, image, you know, like the skies offline thing. Oh, um, I watched Shazam, Fury of the Gods, which is the second film in the Shazam, um, well, yeah, uh, <laughs> like Shazam was the first film, and now you have Shazam, Fury of the Gods, um, well, yeah, I really liked it a lot, I loved it, actually, I have heard many people complain, I don't complain at all. I think it was really, really good. I really loved it. So, um, I'm really hoping that there's going to be a third film. I think so. And I'm really, really excited if there's going to be a third one. I really loved it. Um, I've loved the first. I loved the second so much. I was really enjoying myself in the cinema. So... Uh, yeah, I'm really hoping that there's going to be a third film. I think there will be, though, because, you know, um, they did put a little teaser at the end of it, like they also do with the Marvel films, so I'm assuming. Well, I guess we're just going to have to find out eventually. Um, um, is there any announcements I have? Well, for starters... Um, uh, once we finish this game, there's not gonna be a second new, uh, like a new game. For now, I want to finish Resident Evil Revelations first, and then probably once I have the Resident Evil 4 remake in my hands, we might stop Revelations and play that first. I don't know how things are going. Also, because as of not necessarily the upcoming week, but the week after that, I'll have to study every single day, basically. And, um, yeah, you know, I'll, um, I'll have to, uh, I have exams coming up and an essay as well again. So 
I can't really say for sure how things are going to go, but just to notify you guys that things are going to be changing a bit for uh, a couple of weeks. Um, well, not necessarily a couple of weeks, but... Um, Hold on a second, that's weird. You're not supposed to do that. What are you doing? Stupid. Hey, Rescue, it's good to see you. Uh, just see how's the English Whisperer doing. <laughs> um, hang in there for sure. How are you doing, friend? How are you doing? It's really funny because my classmates are also now kind of referring to me as the, as the English Whisperer. I'm not saying like I'm fluent in all accents, but I definitely can say uh, a couple things. So yeah, I really love being deemed the um, English Whisperer. I think it's really funny, but it's also like, because I told you guys, my mum is Irish and uh, she's also Scottish and Welsh and British. So it's like sometimes in my accent, like I'll I'll have Scottish or Irish coming through because it it's not Ireland, it's Ireland, you know. And like when you say newspaper in Ireland, it's uh you know newspaper, you know it's paper. It's more like it's more on the back instead of the front, and it's like work, which is work, and uh you know they have what we say our. They say error, you know, so there are loads of differences and sometimes my accent and like care as well They pronounce their R's so you know, it's garden So sometimes my accent will have differences, but I really love that. I'm just you know, the English whisper at school now Doing so so I was impressed with your ability to speak with all English accents. You should become an actor <laughs> Well, I mean, I really would love to be a voice actor. I would definitely love that um I, I can do different voices, I can do different accents, so I could also do an English-Russian accent, you know, or an English-French one, English-German. I could do all kinds of accents within English, it's just, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't really know where to find a voice acting job. You know, because I'm not stationed in a country where they really do that. So, I could imitate people like Conor McGregor. <laughs> I could. I, I, I probably could. Different voice. What kind of voice or character can you do? Description, not portrayal. Um, well. Oh, gosh. That's a tough question. I mean... I can't necessarily do it, but I, I used to be able to do the Draco Malvoy when he says, like, Potter. You know, like, but it's... I'm not really good at imitating people's voices, but I'm, I, I can kind of get close. When I was a lot younger, and I had more, like, um, a bit of a softer voice. Because, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I my voice has gone a little bit lower. Which I am really happy about. Because I don't sound as much as a woman. I mean, I can I can let it go even lower, you know? Like, that's not a problem at all. Like, this. This is not a problem. But it's like... My voice has gone a little bit lower. So... And, like... So... I used to be able to... Um, impersonate people. But, in all honesty, it's a little less. Because my voice is changing a lot. Um, so, yeah. You know, it's... But I can easily also switch to a much lighter voice and, you know, even get a little higher than that. It's so easy. There's no way you cannot do that. Your voice can do so many amazing things. Didn't you know that? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I can, I can do ranging from low to high to more male to female. So, um, yeah. I can do loads of things. I can do old people. Uh, yeah, so it's, 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 and also, you know, a child's, like, it's, it's not hard to do a different voice, it's just, like, you need to, I, mostly when I do those kinds of things, I need to do warming up, you know, because your voice is straining itself, you like, your vocal cords, so if I would do, like, an actual 
thing, you know, like sounding coarse or something, then I would have to do some voice exercises, you know. Um, if you really want to be voice actors, there are seeing people put voice casting on Twitter. Really? I've never, I've never seen that before. I've never really seen anyone ask for voice actors. I guess I should look more into that. Thanks for telling me that. Be careful, men and women. Nobody will be saved from impersonated by Sky. <laughs> Ma, probably not. No, I'm going to impersonate everyone. No one's identity is going to be safe. I mean, if you do want to be, I will tag you never casting people. Oh, I, I mean, if you would do that for me, I would love to be notified. Because honestly, I'm not really much on Twitter. Like, only to give updates and reply to people who reply to me. And I have my notifications turned on for certain people, but... Honestly, I also just sometimes completely forget about Twitter. My life is so busy. I'm, I'm barely on any social media at the moment. Normally, I would scroll through TikTok or Instagram endlessly. And now it's just only like a bunch of things. And then I, yeah, it's, it's awful. Of course, I love to see a successful or famous writer, actor. Actor. Oh, Resky, you're so kind. Thank you. I mean, I would really love to be a voice actor. I would love to. It's uh, it's not hard to do an accent, you know. It's really easy, easy to do an accent like this. It's it's very easy to just go from that to this to that. It's it's really it's really it's just. I can do that in a heartbeat and snap back. It's it's, yeah. I can do most of the things, but um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey waffle, welcome in, friend. You're not too late. I started early. So you're not late at all. I haven't done anything. Um, how are you doing today? Wizards. Don't forget wizards too. Vivana <laughs> Yadavra! <laughs> Sorry. Now I can't really do his voice, but I just love how he just... Vivana Yadavra! You know, like, I just love that. It's Leffy Osa, not Leffy Osa. You know, like those kinds of things. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I love it. Or like the bumbling, bubbling band of baboons. You know, like the mechanical one. Those kinds of things, man. They, I love them. I just love them. I absolutely love them. Hey, Sean, welcome in. How are you doing? Resident Evil reviews are looking great. Ten, all ten, ten. Are you bloody serious? Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so hyped! Oh, I really want it! I don't know if, if the... Because um, I haven't received any updates from the shop that I ordered it at. So I have no clue if it's still gonna be... Um, like, if I'm gonna receive it on, on the day itself or not. Let me double check what maybe if maybe I can see something in my order. Uh, thank you for your order. This was Hogwarts Legacy. That's not the right one. This one probably Resident Evil 4. I can't check it. Weird. It's unclickable. Maybe if I check on the You're okay? That's good to hear. I mean, well, I mean Okay, it's just, you know, okay is okay, but at least you're doing okay, so that that's something, right? Let me check what my Resident Evil 4... Okay, so it says pre-order. It still says that the release is, is set on the same day as it, well, as it should be. So as, as, as far as I can see, there's no update, so it should indeed be delivered to me in the upcoming week as well. You're all set for next week. I, in a way, am too. But also, I'm finally going to get it in my hands. And then I can't play it. Because I'm going to have exams. And that's bugging me so badly. So last next week is my last week of classes. And then we have one week off for resets. But I don't have any. And then I and to two weeks after that, I have exams. So I'm not going to be able to play it. So, I actually wouldn't have mind if they would have postponed it, the release date, but I guess not. 
meeting Thunder and we're gonna meet at Roger. Tell him not frightened they'll ditch me because I'm timid. No, they won't, Waffle. I know Thunder. They're definitely not gonna ditch you. Thunder is one of the most amazing people on this planet. I have full faith that you guys are gonna meet and that it's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be amazing. Trust me. I know it will. I have a good feeling about this. You're gonna have an amazing time. I know you will. I have to buy digitally. It's so hard to acquire a physical copy in your area. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I ordered a very special edition, apparently. something. There's something included in that edition, but I don't remember what it was. Maybe I can look that up. I ordered a physical copy and then with something added to it. I don't know what it is. Let me check. Oh, it's a DLC. Oh, yeah, okay. Pre-order DLC. Okay, that's that's the thing. Um, it's really nice. You can clearly see Marit smile every time she talks about meeting the one and only Sky. <laughs> yeah, Marit and I, yeah, we, uh... We are going to Dutch Comic Con again together, which is in June, so that's a long time away. And we really want to meet up again before that, but it's for me, it's just, I have the trouble of, you know, school and uni and, yeah, just being busy and, ah, it sucks. And I know I do have other appointments and stuff, but it's, those are a little, yeah, okay, no, actually it's not. I'm really trying to find something for us to meet again, Marin and I, but um, I'm just booked at the moment, so that's really annoying. <laughs> but it's also like, because um, I have so many concerts still left this year, but they're all from previous years. I haven't bought a single new one. Okay, that's not true. I bought one new one. The rest were all from 2020 up to 2022. So yeah, you know, those are just set dates that I can't really do anything about. I'll come to Liverpool 2025. I have no idea. I I can't promise anything. Um, I don't know, Waffle. I would love to, but that's... If I'm still at uni at that point, that's my exam year. So I have no single clue about what is going to happen. Um, I would love to. I just can't say yes. Um, but I'm also not saying no. It's like a maybe. You know, like an if. I hope so, though. I genuinely do hope so. Okay, let me uh, get the game started in the meantime. So it is the finale, if I'm not mistaken. We should be able to finish the game today. I hope. And otherwise, I'll just go a little longer. Because I want to finish this game today. I have to, basically. Because it would take a lot of pressure off having only one game left. With my upcoming weeks. In terms of uni and exams and everything. So, uh, yeah, I, I hope that we can finish this game today. And also, I'm really excited to see if we can actually keep all characters alive. Um, or if anyone's going to die. Uh, today is the day we find out. According to uh, reliable sources, um, the game should be able to be finished in the time span we have. Um, so I'm fairly positive we'll, we'll manage. So, um, well, we'll have to wait and see what happens, you know? I would love to meet you too. Yes, no, definitely. I, I, I will try to come. I just don't want to say I'm coming because then I would let you down, you know? And I, I hate breaking promises. So the only thing I can say is if I have the ability and the money, I will come and meet you. I know that will be the greatest day of my life. Oh, it will also be one of my loveliest days. When I'm going to meet you is definitely going to be up in my top five things I've done that year. I know it will. I am. I, I know it will. I'm really excited to meet you as well when, when the day comes. So a quick recap. I think uh, we, Aaron, Mark and Charlie are at the lighthouse. And Kate and Jamie almost got killed. But then there was this dog called Connie. The dog saved us because we didn't stab the dog. Apparently we could have stabbed the dog to death. Now there's one thing I don't do in games unless unless you're Resident Evil which are zombie dogs but they're technically not dogs anymore. Or if you're in The Last of Us and I have no means of you know then I sadly... Aaron, whoa, I've worked with Charlie for a long time. Selfish control freak who fuck any of us over if he had to but He's not a murderer. I know what I heard. I believe you. But maybe that's what you were supposed to hear. Look, I'll watch it. I promise. You're both fucking mad. 
No! You're both fucking mad. Well, I hope you'll prove us wrong, Charlie. And that it's indeed just an imagination. Let's figure out how to get this thing working. All right, and here we are. Lighthouse. Lighthouse, lighthouse, lighthouse. All righty. Um, plane tickets got too expensive, so now driving for four hours. Yeah, oh, 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 wait, you had to c cancel your plane. Oh my. Oh gosh, I'm sorry about that. Well, I mean, I admit, I would rather drive for four hours than go by plane. I'm not really a fan of planes. I'm not afraid of them, I'm just not a fan. I prefer the car. I have my driver's license as well, so that makes sense, but, um... I don't know, there's much more freedom with a car than with a plane. That's my opinion, but... Oh, hi, Mark! <laughs> I love how both of you said that at the same time. <laughs> you guys are so in sync, I love it. Insert, oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> hey, Rag! <laughs> Coming in with that as well, huh? <laughs> Good to see you, hi! <laughs> I really love that that's the meme, you know, and that, yeah, we can use that to our advantage in this game. Howdy, Rag. How are you doing, my friend? How are you doing on this on this uh, Friday? I was going to say Tuesday, but it's definitely not a Tuesday. I would like, uh... Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a coin! I don't have enough. I need a 200. Unless I keep replaying this chapter... I would have to replay an awful lot if I were to do that. I think that was the last coin, wasn't it? Or is there another coin here? No, I don't think so. Okay, I don't have enough coins, but that's fine. Unless... This was the last coin? Oh no! Wait, how are you supposed to get 200 except for having to continuously replay chapters? That would be stupid. Um, you're gonna meet Roger and I'm hyped, I'm worried he'll think I'm weird. No! Friend, obviously no. Trust me on this. They meet so many different people. They don't think anyone's really weird. Trust me. I promise you. They don't really think that. I promise you they don't. Trust me, okay? You really have to trust me on this. They really don't think you're weird. Oh, wait. So you have to play Curator's Cut as well to get the 200 coins. Wait, is it trophy only to get 200 coins? I'm a little confused. <laughs> I just want to double check something real quick. Because if that's the case, I'm just going to save... Uh, collected two obols. Okay, so you just have to collect 200. So, um... Can I, in any way... Uh, save this safe... And then, I just want to make sure, because I mean, I can also easily get 200 coins, but... There was a one person in the Deckard Games Discord named Mark. I used to great, I used to great like, great like this. Oh! <laughs> oh, hi, Mark! <laughs> I think I know which one you mean, yeah. I, I know, I know Mark. I think they were uh, Ellen's sister, or uh, brother, I mean. Ellen, Ellen, uh, Ellen is also a part of a community. I think it was their brother, or... Because they have the same name, basically. So maybe it's their brother or boyfriend? I don't know. From Masterpiece The Room. <laughs> Masterpiece The Room. Roger is cool. I'm sure he won't think that. 
Exactly. I have I I haven't met Roger like in person, but I've stood next to like he was um when I met uh Troy Baker and Nolan North and Brian Emilia in 2018, um he uh, he was seated next to them. He sounded really nice. Uh, I haven't met met him, but he sounded really nice. Lighthouse. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new slot here. And then I'm gonna need to remember that I'm still here by the way, don't don't worry. Um chase, chase, chase. I don't know which data I'm on right now, but I think it would be a good idea to make an extra safe. Um, just so I can, once I'm done with the game, I can, in my spare time, go back to this one scene and, and replay this over and over again so I can get to 200 coins. Um, but yeah. I agree with Rag. I wholeheartedly agree, Waffle. You're very cool. No one's gonna think you're weird, trust me. Uh-oh, now Sky's back. <laughs> Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Guess who's back. <laughs> yep, most definitely just back. Most definitely. My next game. I don't know. I mean, in all honesty, um, I want to have... the rest Because we still have Resident Evil Revelations, right? We haven't finished that yet. So... I want to have that one, and once Resident Evil 4 comes out, I probably change it up. <laughs> for now, I think it's going to be one game only oh, uh, for a couple okay. weeks, because I have exams coming up, uni work. So uh, for now, it's only going to be Resident Evil. Um. Give me a hand. You're fine. Where's Kate? Jamie? Have you seen them? Do you know where they are? We got separated in the woods. I didn't... I was too scared to stop and look. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's gonna be okay, Aaron. They'll get here. I found a way inside. Come on. Amazing. Well done, Aaron. You're not coming with us. What? Are you... I heard your call with Dumet. You set this all up. You set us up to die. Aaron, you are out of your mind. I would never... You know you can trust me. Seventy percent of murderers kill somebody they know. Somebody who trusts them. It's seventy-nine percent. But I am not a murderer. The last minute trip, giving up our phones, a remote location... Just, I made a double save just plan. to be what safe is... because I haven't gained, saved the game in a you're long in time. So I just want to make I'm sure that Mark, when I want to get 200 points, because this, this safe is the closest I have. So in, Aaron, once I finish I the game quiet. and I have time in my spare time, because I'm going to try and platinum this game anyway. So uh, once I have Aaron, time for well, that, I, I will do time. that in my own time and get 200 coins. Um, so I, I had to make an extra safe, you know. I know what I heard. Right, cool. Yeah, I mean, um, Maybe that's what you were like I to said, I, I don't want to commit myself it. to a new game Promise. when I know I'm going to be very yeah, busy. So, you know, um, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're just going to have to wait a bit and see what happens. But for now, it's, it's going to be uh, one game. <laughs> I missed a lot of stuff, but Charlie's being weirdly nice. I know, yeah, no. Charlie went through a lot. He uh, was thrown into an incinerator. He, he barely survived that. He was almost burned to death. Um, and then he was thrown into the garbage dispenser, or like the rubbish dispenser. And he also almost died in there. So he went through a lot. So, yeah, he better be a bit nice working. now. I know, the revelation, right? Okay, I'm gonna pick up this coin again. So in my spare time, if I keep doing this, I have now 157. So if I keep doing that, like, because I get five each time, you know, and um, I need uh, 43 more. So that would be like replaying that tiny bit like nine more times. And then I have enough money. So that would be easy to do in my spare time. Okay. But now that we have that out of the way, we should actually play some game, huh? Alright. Okay. Um, can I have a bigger, like, light? Oh, that works. No. Okay. 
Okay, where are we going? This door is closed. It's a little bit annoying that I can barely see a thing. Oh, it's really annoying. Oh, I see something shiny. Shiny is some- that always means something good. That means juicy stuff. Let me see. What is this? Evidence. Address Chicago PD. Evidence 1612 West State Street. Case number blah blah. Evidence number 21. Recovery date 1998. Oh my. Oh. Zero 600 hours. I, Officer Frank Hooper, discovered that one or multiple individuals had gained unauthorized access to the evidence room at 1612 West State Street. Among the missing items were assets recovered from the apartment of former FBI agent Hector Monday, including books, clothes, notes, surgical tools, and dental equipment. We are currently running with the theory that this was the direct result of souvenir hunters looking for a piece of memorabilia from the case. Mm. End of report. Oh! Okay, that was short. Hector Waylon Monday, Leonard Kemp, Brandon Day, Benjamin Pit 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 Pit, Pit, Pit What? How the hell do you pronounce that last name? Patizel? Patizel? What the hell? How do you I don't know how to Okay. Cole Rogers, William Baldwin, Charles Leacock, How Howard Sigrant, Ned Yoke, Benton T. Lyman, Richard Belknap, and Gra Grantham Dumay Dumet. I call it trophy. I don't know what it was. It called. It was called investigator. I don't know what that is. Investigator. Let me double check real quick. I don't know what that was. Uh, found all of the silver framed secrets. Oh, ah, aha, 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 aha. I see. I see. I see. I see what you did there. Cool. I would have liked playing because I got travel sickness. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have any medication for that? Because I have a friend who has medication for uh, having that. Oh, hey, business card. I'm sorry to hear that, though. Oh, another trophy. Men of many interests. Is that for getting all five of the business cards? Okay, interesting. But hey ho, it's just the way things go, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, I really am. But I think, again, because you were afraid of the plane as well, right? So, I mean, it makes a lot of sense that nothing is really convenient for you. It makes a lot of sense, so don't get me wrong on that. But uh, I think there's not really, yeah, I mean, both have their advantages and disadvantages for sure. That's, yeah, I feel you. Okay. Uh, there's no secrets here, right? I checked that one. Let's go into this room, shall we? Oh, what's this? A diploma. Silver Hector Spring. On Monday. Silver Spring University of Science and Medicine. This is to certify that Hector Whalen Monday has been awarded the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology, May 22, 1988. Okay. I also love how the characters just, you know, when there's a box like that, they shove it back into place. <laughs> it's okay, no medication, just little bands. Bands? Oh, you mean, is it like the, those kinds of bands that you keep plugging at and then when it, hurt, it hurts you in a way? Like that, those kinds of bands? Like the stress reversal ones? I don't really know what they're called, but a friend of mine has like a band, which is kind of like a... Um, um, kind of like um, uh, uh, a bracelet, but then she uses it to uh, not necessarily hurt herself, but oh, I need to take a photo of here. There you go. Photo taken. Okay. Um, any other secrets in here? I saw the one in the box. Is there anything? Oh, there's something here. Mr. Dumet, I want 
my team dead. I'll get them to you. This weekend. Just do it. I never said any of that shit. this to work so much I just accepted everything you said it's been edited I'm such an idiot Jesus I'm a sound tech and I fell for it you're in shock all of us are don't beat yourself up so Erin I'm sorry Charlie Mark found Dumer had created false evidence implicating Charlie in the murders ah so Charlie was innocent we all knew that, right? We all knew that. Come on. I mean, Charlie is a dick, but he's not a murderer, right? A list of aliases, okay? A framed degree certificate. Hector Monday has a degree in psychology. So we need five more secrets. All right. That's not so bad, right? That's not so bad. No, I mean a travel sickness bounce. You put it on your wrist and it's supposed to stop travel sickness feels. Oh! No, okay, I thought it was one of those bands. Because my friend, again, she has one of those and then she pulls it back. And then it comes on her skin. And then it's set to do something like relieving stress or anxiety. I thought it was something close to that, but... She's hurting herself, so, I mean... Yours sound a lot more peaceful. <laughs> In a way. Um, oh yeah, by the way, happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. I completely forgot to- Oh no, I forgot to tweet that, because I'm partly Irish. Oh no, I'm not even holding up to my roots. Fuck. <laughs> oh no, I'm a bad Irish descendant. I should probably tweet something in a second or something. Radio, beer, or wine. Oh, examine, do I want to? I don't know. Do I? Mark and Jennifer Edwards. July 7th, 1965. Clarence, I thought I should write you with the news as you haven't been to see me in six months. You have a son. I gave birth a few weeks ago. I need you back here. I can't do... I can't do this alone. My parents are helping out, but they're both very old now. Come home, Clarence, please. El Monday. El Monday? Wait, are you telling me Hector was born in this house? Huh. Wait, so... I'm confused. Stop making those noises. For crying out loud. Nope! I kind of want to see what's in this box before I do anything. Oh, it's a key I probably need. Right? Mark found some boat keys. I could I could have missed that. Okay, good I picked it up. A, se a letter sent to Hector Monday's father, which was returned. Hector never knew his father. Lucinda raised Hector as a single parent. Oh, right, Lucinda was his mother. Yeah, that's right, she was in the nursing like home. there may be another boat on the island. I don't want to open that. Do I have to open it? Okay, fuck it. Ah! Son of a bitch! Give me a dog any day. Fuck. What the hell was that? You alright? 
Yeah, just stupid cat. <laughs> I really wanted to be like Dean. It's supernatural. Okay, that's gonna be a spoiler alert. So if you love supernatural, please either take your headphones off or turn down the volume because I'm about to give a little spoiler. Ready? I give you five seconds and then I'm gonna say the spoiler. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so in Yellow Fever, which is episode 6 of season 4, Dean and Sam are in this factory and there's this locker and uh, Dean is suffering from Yellow Fever, which is, which is a ghost sickness. And he opens up the locker, a cat jumps out, and he's, he has the most amazing humorous scream and it's my favorite scene of all time. And then he's like panting and he goes, that was scary! So the fact that this cat jumped out of the cabinet made me think of Dean screaming in pure agony. And I just, I really, 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 really wanted to scream like Dean did. But I hold myself because I don't want to scare anyone. But that is just the fucking funniest scene. And every time I see it, even though I've seen it like 20 times already, I just keep laughing. And it hurts my stomach because I'm laughing so much. I just love that scene. Heard of that method with the elastic band where you ping it on yourself? Yeah, no, I mean, I thought you meant that, but now it makes a lot more sense. Oh my god, the jump scare? I mean, it didn't affect me, because I knew something was going to jump out, but it, it just it reminded me of Dean's, of Dean's uh, scene. So I was like, ah, you know, I was like, that's Dean, you know? It's not Dean, but it's just, it made me happy. It was, uh, I love that. Uh, I guess we're going upstairs, right? I haven't seen any other secrets, so I'm assuming that that was it. I'm amazed that these stairs are still intact. Wow, this is- Oh! I hope you are up in your condition, Mark! How many staircases do we have to go to? Oh, there you go. Oh, a ladder as well. Okay. I hope Charlie can do this with his old age. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're on top of the lighthouse. I bet it's not working. It's broken. On. Uh, Aaron? Charlie? Are you coming up here? No way. Oh. Fuck. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Mark, I swear to God. If you fall. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. I looked! <laughs> You're okay, Mark. You're okay. Good job, buddy. Tampering with the seal is a federal offense. Whatever. Murdering us is an offense as well, so... Ooh, that was close. Luckily, that was not a QTE. Well... We almost got electrocuted. We almost died there. I ain't scared. I'm super hyped. <laughs> As am I. Why is it this angle? I was about to say, that's weird. I'm hyped as well. I really want to see where this ends. Now you're golden? Oh, I am. Don't you worry. I'm very much golden. Ow. I electrocuted twice. You uh, must be fried in the inside, huh? Trophy! Mark, turn the lighthouse lamp on. Trophy! Oh, that's bright. Yeah, you should probably look away. Oh, uh. <laughs> Fuck yes! Uh, don't cheer too quickly, mate. You might jinx yourself. Because the killer knows you're there. Where the hell did Aaron and Charlie go? Aaron? 
Aaron? Charlie? Hey, hey guys! Up. Mark found some bow keys? Wait. I know Clear. that. Kate! Jamie! I'm here! Mark! Mark, behind you! Mark? What the hell is that smell? Jesus. Well, that can't be a good sign. I met someone amazing, but we were one of different things in life, so I sadly unmatched with them. Oh, I'm sorry. I truly hope that one day you're gonna find the person. I'm really sorry, friend. You deserve so much better. I mean that. You do. I just hope the dog got out okay. I hope so too, yeah. I have no clue what happened to the dog. I have no idea. Oh, there you are. I wasn't expecting you. Are you early for a change? Fuck off. I don't know who you are, I don't want to know. Wait, is that Lucinda? His mother? Recover, January 28th. St. Paul's Cemetery, Church Rose, Silver Spring, January 13, 1998. Dear Mr. Monday, I am writing to inform you of an issue with plot R357P124. As a right of interment is in your name, it is my duty to inform you of a re recent incident at burial plot blah blah. A patch of soil has been disturbed and a headstone was moved from its base. I understand that this is the grave of your late mother, Lucinda Monday, therefore I appreciate that this news may be distressing. Unfortunately, on rare occasions, a local wildlife can cause such disturbances, and we suspect that this is the case in this incidence. As a matter of public safety, it is our duty to ensure maintenance of our plots is of a very high standard, and we have swiftly corrected the disturbance. There has been no permanent damage. Sincerely, J. Gray, Jeffrey Gray, Chief Caretaker. Oh. So, wait. His mum is dead, though. So, is the doll in the room like his mother? Like a... Except copy. They wanted kids and I didn't settle down and start a family when I wanted to travel for a bit. Oh god, no. Kids, mm mm. No, thank you very much. No thanks. Nope. I'm with you on that one. I do not want kids at all. Most definitely not. Okay, let's look around a bit before we go towards the creepy grandma. Ew. This reminds me of Resident Evil. What is that? Kinda looks like puke. Gross. That's probably the smell. Oh, we cannot go back out. Uh, Jamie, I wanna go this way? Pots and pans everywhere. Can I take one of those pots and pans before I walk over to that lady? Something to kill her with in case she gets up or something? This is all boarded up. Inspect. Do I want to open? Okay, I probably okay. All right, I'll do it. <gasps> what the fuck is this? Is that her actual body? Did he dig up his own mother? The boy who loved. Selfish monster. Scary stories. Always have been. Hey. Why does that? Hey, who are you? Why does it sound like, um, the boy who lived from Harry Potter? The lonely boy loved reading scary stories. Wow. He reads, he read scary stories all day and all night. Oh, wow. He lived his, with his aunt, mother, but she was very strict. Stop reading that book. The boy was sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. The book gave him an idea. Revenge. The boy sneaked through the house. <laughs> he jumped and shouted and frightened his aunt or mother. Rah! Rah! He loved scary stories. <laughs> oh, that's it? Boo! 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> Always right for your favorite page. Predictable little shit. I know you. Okay, then. Interesting for sure. <laughs> Um, because people replied and never responded, so finding someone who's responsive was great. Oh, I'm sorry that when you finally found someone, it still didn't turn out to be anything worthy. I'm sorry, friend. It's gonna be like winning the lottery when I find someone, because there's only one of you and a million people on the planet. That's, that's true. That's, no, it's very true. Um, there are so many people out there. I know. It's sometimes really hard to find just that one person who's perfect for you. One second. One second. Gotta text my friend about tomorrow. One sec, guys. Alright. Um, you know, sometimes I try to put humor into what I learn. I do the same. No, definitely. Um, like, two weeks ago, I had to do uh, a class presentation. And I started cracking jokes in between. And I made the class laugh. So, mission accomplished. Um, I think it's... You learn a lot easier when you're making jokes as well. So, um, Also, nobody wants to run a farm with me. A farm?! Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't know if I could run it, but I, I wouldn't mind running a farm. I do love farms. I mean, I would love to have animals. <laughs> if I met someone, I'd give anything to make them happy. Trust me, you're gonna find the right person sometime, Waffle. It, it'll come at a time when you least expect it, and that's the most beautiful thing about it, really. I totally forgot the time. Hey, Mari, welcome in, friend. It's okay. Welcome in. Good to see you. How are you doing today? Don't you worry. You're not too late. You haven't missed much. Well, I mean, a little bit, but, um... <laughs> we're, uh, how are you doing? Oh, it was a pull, not a push. Got it. Upstairs, I think. Oh, that's locked. Upstairs it is. Come on, Jamie. You're good? Good to hear. That's positive, for sure. Jamie, come on! Jamie? 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 Where the fuck is she? Jamie? Jamie? Oh god, you scared the fuck out of me. I thought you were dead. <laughs> I took my back and the crazy lady got you. <gasps> oh, thank god. It's only you. Thank God. Have you seen Mark? He's all right. He's trying to get that bloody light going. Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. Uh-oh. Mark? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One second, I wanna catch up with chat real quick before we do any of this. Um, I'm, I'm okay-ish, yeah, I mean, I, I, I had a pretty good day. It wasn't the worst week, so I, I guess I'm okay. Thanks for asking. My cat is here, so if I don't find anyone, I have him. True, I have the same. My cat is my one and only f lover, so I'll be fine. But, you know, if, you know, maybe my crush would like me back in a way, I wouldn't mind that. But, you know, for now, I'll just have to be friends with him, you know? <laughs> He's turning six? Oh, wow. My cat is turning nine this year. Time flies so fast. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's keep him alive. Mark. I thought I lost you. 
Uh oh. Oh, Charlie's going head on! Wow, Charlie! Hero of the day! Okay, I take that! Charlie, you're officially a good boy! Thank you for protecting your team! Kate, no! Mr. Dumet? But that's not your real name, is it? Your real name is Hector Monday. Special Agent Monday. FBI. You joined the FBI because you wanted to understand killers. You wanted to stop them killing. We know what Manny Sherman said to you. He was lying. Just an angry old man trying to make a legacy. Pretty standard serial killer behavior. We know about your childhood, the way you were treated. We know about the violence, the authorities turning a blind eye. We met your mother, Hector. We've seen the bodies. We know you're trying to preserve them, to fix them. Make them perfect. But it doesn't work like that. It's a cycle of violence. Y you can break that cycle. The crew confronted Hector Monday. Um, okay. Oh, he's not up for reason. It didn't work, guys. Just go. I guess finding all the secrets doesn't matter anything. Just run. Just, just run. Just go. Don't look back. Just keep going. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's so much happening. It's chaos. Oh. And the oh. Why does it keep telling me like there's a bearing update but there's nothing? Oh, Charlie's feeling his old age now. Um, there he comes. I really love how he's not running after us. He's just walking very spooky and friendly. The crew spotted a roadhouse, a boathouse from the cliff. Cli blah, blah. The crew spotted a boathouse from the cliff path. Okay, so there is an escape. Oh. Okay. <gasps> Police! We're saved! Oh, thank God you have a gun. Are you for fucking real? Are you really using his face? Really? Salim's face? From House of Ashes? Really? Come on! Stop reusing your character's faces! It's so lame! God! I really hate it that the game does that. Ah! Annoying. Our cat is turning 13! Oh wow! I love that. I love that. I don't know. Everyone hates the number 13. I love it. <laughs> Your oldest is nine. Oh, My cat is going to be an age buddy with yours. Charlie probably does care about them very deep down. I think so. I think he does. Yeah. I, Charlie doesn't admit it, but I think he does love them. Wow. It feels like life is strange. The latest. I Yeah. No, definitely. It does have that kind of vibe over it. I, I, I feel what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Why aren't they running? I don't know, Waffle. I really don't know. Very Scooby-Doo much, in it. <laughs> scooby dooby doo <laughs> Sorry, it's my youth. I had to do that. I always loved that when, when uh, he said that at the end of each episode. My other cat lived till she was 16, 18. My oldest cat was 19 and a half when uh, we had to let her go. So that's really old for a cat. So uh, So is 18. Yeah, and he's still a little baby. Aww. Cats always remain your baby, am I right? They never stop being that. Copy and paste much? For real! 
really annoying. It feels like they're just plagiar- uh, pl like, you know, yeah, plagiarism. I mean, is it technically plagiarism when you're doing it in your own games? I don't know. My sub didn't come on today because of NCAA March Madness. Oh, ugh. That's annoying. Can you, uh, is there like, will the episode come at a later time or is it cancelled entirely? Like, when will the next episode be if that's um, stopping it from airing today? What the hell? Oh. Hands where I can see them, all of you! The cop found the bodies of the ferryman and, and the girl. He killed them. No talking! I said, hands where I can see them! Thank God you're here. Everybody we put your hands up! Until I know what's happening here, no one moves. Dude! Sir, behind you! The boat! Seriously, lady? The crew tried to warn the police officer. Boat went BOOM! <laughs> boat went BOOM! Uh-oh! Oh god! The hands! <laughs> choice I don't fucking know I mean I, I had the choice to pick up the gun I was like I mean having a gun as kind of a weapon would be really nice but I guess we can't have nice things I guess we, we we're not allowed to have nice things I don't know I, apparently we don't we're not allowed to have any nice things <sighs> Apparently, we are not allowed to have nice things. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's only going to get worse from here, right? Um, my parents didn't let me say goodbye to her. Because I was at school and there was no time. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. I'm sorry about that. I I did go to, um, to say goodbye. And I... I don't, I don't know. It wasn't. I don't really want to talk about it because it's only gonna make me upset. So, when I've learned, I'm gonna hold all my pets to their very last breath. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely would do the same. Um, most definitely. They'll be back on Monday. College basketball league is getting set for the final hour. For the final four. Oh, ah, uh, aha! Uh -huh. I get it. 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 Um, well, there's any chance of escape now? I mean, yeah, we do have a kind of an escape plan. We definitely do. We definitely do. Thank you for the gifts up, friend. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Thank you so much for the gifts up. Thank you. A whole year, Mari. Welcome back for a whole year. Welcome back, friend. Welcome, welcome back. A whole year. <laughs> That's really sweet of you, Waffle. Thanks for that. That's so sweet of you. Thank you, friend. That's really sweet. Oh, thank you for being here as well, Waffle. Thank you so much for, for being here with us as well. Alright, let's go, guys. Let's finish this game. I feel like this is the final battle. Here we go. Uh-oh. 
I want to read the bearings. Dumais killed the police officer. Okay. Well. Uh... Come on. <laughs> this way. <laughs> this should work. Oh, it's not working. Oh, I God. Swear to cord. <laughs> there. <clears throat> work, damn it. <clears throat> Connie! Hey, hey, Connie. Could you see a boy? Come on. Oh, it's a boy. It's a doggy! Yes, take doggy. Good. Kate? Kate! Just work. Go! Are we done? That was the game? There's no way that was the game. That was the game? It's not even been an hour. There's no way. That's it? No heavy battle? Really? That's it. Oh, and the music's still kind of so so. Over Aaron, though. We did it. Barely. I'll take it. We have to call the police. Aim for the lights. Off. You know, I've just had a great idea for series two. Oh, fuck All off, that's John. missing is a big final twist. Good luck finding a host for that bullshit. I'm out. I'm just glad I'm in one pink. <gasps> okay! 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 Hang on! Yes, Connie! Yes, Connie! <gasps> Doggy no! I'm gonna attack you. Fuck it. <coughs> Fuck you. <coughs> Fuck you, bitch! <coughs> I'm not gonna run! I'm gonna kill you! Fuck you! Yes! Do it!
this was so... Yes! How does that feel, bitch? That's what you get for murdering all those innocent people! Justice is finally served! Hallelujah! Woohoo! Oh, that was so satisfactory! Holy shit! If doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. Oh my god! Favorite classic rock after this break. No. Oh, can we get it? Can we? Oh boy, holy fucking shite! Oh my word! Holy hell! Oh my god! Oh my lord! Oh my god, there is so much happening in in the in the chat. I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. I was I was so busy trying not to let anyone get killed. If that mask isn't melted into his face, and I don't know how it's still on. I don't mean I am wondering the exact same thing, Waffle. I don't know either, but Kay! Welcome back! Hello friend! Two months! Uh two years I mean! Sorry! <laughs> Welcome back for two years! Hi, friend! It's so good to see you! How are you doing? How are you? Welcome! Like, come on, he must have had a super glue to his skin. I mean, it- I mean, he t he took it off, but it, it definitely- it definitely looked like it was stuck, wasn't it? <laughs> I guess I arrived at the right moment. You did! There was a lot of shit going on! There was a lot of- Oh my god! <laughs> there was a lot going on there! No happy ending lasts. It's always the bad endings that do. Well, I mean, I think they're all fine, right? I mean, I think they all survived. They all jumped out in time. Time flies so fast. It does. Oh my god, it does. Woohoo. What the... Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you for the gift sub, Marit. To Kat, thank you. Thank you for, for, uh, for doing that. For giving away your gift sub in a way. Or more like... You know, continuing it through. Thank you. Yeah, there's a hype train. Oh my god. Thank you all for starting the hype train. I had no idea that... that wow, thanks guys. Hype train. Okay. Stop. Thank you so much for the biddies. Thank you so much, dear friend. That's so sweet of you. Thanks. <laughs> my pleasure. That's so sweet. Thank you. Oh, uh, the emotes have changed. Yeah, no, there's a different, um, you need to, uh, apply skies, L, I think, and then hype. Wait, let me, uh, right? I don't know. Something along those lines. I don't know, really. Uh, oh, everyone's trying. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it was really cool. It doesn't work. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, I can't take this huge amount of hype. Okay. Thank you again. You didn't need to you need you didn't need to do that twice. Friend, thank you so much. You're so generous. Thank you. That's so kind of you. Waffle. Stop. You're cheering. Stop it. Everyone stop. You guys are so sweet. Waffle. Thank you also so much for cheering twice. Thanks. Rip. <laughs> One tough killer. One tough killer for sure. I did it. Yay. Something tells me he'll be back or he's not gone for good. No, I think he's actually gone for good this time. He looks really dead. Because, I mean, he got, he got like sucked into the propeller of the boat. I think he's really dead this time. There are no wrong ending in dark pictures and anth anthology games. <laughs> hey, Squeezeboxing! Hi! It's good to see you! How are you doing? It's been a while! Hi! Hope you're well! No, I agree. There's definitely no wrong ending. It's, um... <laughs> nope. Uh, there's always some sort of satisfactory ending. Satisfac- Satisfac- Satisf- yeah. English! Satisfying ending. Holy crap, my English. <laughs> Ah, weird. It's weird that they don't work. I don't know how that what how does that's going. I don't know how that I have no idea how that happened. Weird. I'll check why the emos don't work. Weird. 
That's really weird. Oh, but Kate got the hugs working, though. Squeeze, thank you so much for cheering as well. Guys, stop! Guys, you're gonna make me blush. Thank you. I really don't know to what I owe all of that, but thank you so much. Guys! You're gonna- you're gonna make me- you're gonna break me in the best way possible. <laughs> Colors to you finishing it again, hype train. I'm so proud of you. Thanks! I mean, I think there's an after credits thing, but uh, we'll, we'll get that in a minute, but... Thanks! You guys are so sweet! Stop it, everyone! Thank you all so much for the biddies. Congrats for the hype train, enjoy emos, everyone! Yeah, enjoy, enjoy, everyone! Waffle! Stop it! Two gift subs as well this stream? Guys, everyone, stop! You're you're gonna make me blush for real! Stop it! Ah, uh, This one is particularly rough though. You can do everything perfect and then lose everyone in the last 15 minutes. Yeah, I, I heard I, I heard that. I was really lucky that I did it well. Oh, that was really Ooh. That could have ended so badly. Okay, let me check why the emotes don't work. Um, give me one sec, guys. Oh. Why did I do that? Okay. Um, where did I put up my emotes? Um, affiliate, right? Let me check why the emotes aren't working. Um... Um, that's weird. Uh, default, maybe? No. Huh. Hmm. I swear that I knew. Isn't it? De Wait. Um, sky without a capital? Yeet with a capital. Oh, really? Click on the emote and you get the thing. I noticed your emote has one blue, one brown eye. Uh, yeah, I think we did it on purpose because I really love that. Um, I really love doing that. No, 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 I don't have that. But I, uh, uh, I just love two colored eyes. <laughs> I think it's really sexy when someone has that. Like, um... Uh, Dominic Sherwood, who plays Jace in Shadowhunters, he has that. Oh, it's so sexy. Um, can't remember how I came across you, but I'm glad you did. Aw, Waffle, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Um, that happened in Men of Medan. I got everyone to the end in my first run, but I made one choice, I got everyone killed. Oh, I remember Men of Medan. I don't want to talk about that one. Oh, God. I think I was lucky in that one as well, but then I went for the platinum and then I had to kill everyone so I mean the same thing is going to happen here because my f initial point was to try and keep everyone alive and I managed so now that I've kind of finished the game I'm going to do it in my spare time and kill everyone <laughs> um, but I don't, no I don't have that waffle I don't it has to have a one before the yeet or, or the hot villain oh really a one oh I had no idea that's weird I don't know how that happened that's really weird I have oh really you do Marit Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you did. That's really cool, actually. I really love it when people have that. I think it's it just adds something super unique. I I, I wholeheartedly agree. It's really interesting and appealing. Yes, I it, I wholeheartedly agree. It's it's so. I don't know. It's just it looks so cool. You know. I would hug you, but I'm too small. No, honey. I can easily hug you. I have I have very small friends, like my my dear friend. Uh, I, I, you know, he, he's really small as well, and it's easy to hug him, it's fine. I didn't know first, too, but the internet said that it was called that way. Yeah, no, I know, it, 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 that's definitely, that's correct, it is, it is called that, yes. Oh, yeah, you're right! Okay, so, yeah, you guys have to, um, if you scroll down, uh, on, in, on the, on the page, um, there's, like, the panels below, it has the ch emote names one. I have listed all the names there. You can just copy and paste those and then you're golden on the emotes. Uh, people's eyes say a lot about them. Definitely, yes, they do. They do. That's very true. 
I always play a version I call the anti-squeeze, where I do the opposite of what I would ever do in real life. Those- Oh, those usually get everyone killed. I do the same. I mean, the first time I play a game, um, normally, because I this I had no clue about what was going to happen. So I played everything from my gut, what I would choose, and apparently I made the right choices. Um, but next time, I'm definitely going to do the opposite and get everyone killed. <laughs> I have green eyes, but the color around your pupils is brownish-yellowish. Ooh, I have um, a mix of grey and blue, so um, some people argue that my eyes look blue, but in a certain light they look grey, and then in a different light they look uh, like a mix, you know? So I have grey-blue eyes, and sometimes more blue or more grey. I write a book, definitely worth reading, I 100% recommend it. Oh, friends, stop! You're gonna make me blush! Ah. So wait, I'm missing two secrets though. Are those the ones that I'm gonna have to pick up in the creator's cut? Uh, I don't want that. A letter from a cemetery caretaker. Lucinda Monday's grave had been disturbed. Uh huh. Dumet decided to integrate a mask into his persona. I really hate that. I really hate that um, the dog was thrown into the water. Poor doggy! Oh no! No, there's an error! Oh, for fuck's sake! Are you kidding me? No! Oh, no! Guys! There's an error in the game! No! Why, game? For fuck's sake, why? For crying out loud! For fuck's sake, stupid game! No! Don't tell me I have to do all of that again. Just refresh, guys. Just refresh. I'm still here. I'll see if I can get a good pick. Oh, yeah. Please do, Mark. Please do. The best friends always come in the best package. I wholeheartedly agree, yes. But when on, okay, I worry like a mother. No, I mean, I have the same. I'm also very motherly. So I, I definitely agree with you. You're back. I'm back. Yay. But now the stream is restarting. And I really hate that because now I have to glue these things together. Fuck. That's so annoying. Stupid game! Why? Why? Son of a bitch! Oh god. Am I gonna have to replay the whole thing? Oh no. I'll be ruined and mean and selfish with every decision. In Telltale is the first Walking Dead, the only way to get the best where everyone survives to be kind and cooperative to everyone. I got a first try. Best ending. I think I did too. Yeah, I think I got most people alive as well in The Walking Dead. Um, I have that too, yeah. Oh, thank god. Okay. I'm just gonna let it play out now. If that song doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't I had the best ending as well. We have a non-stop block for your favorite classic rock after this break. No damn commercials. Is he gonna find oh. us? Oh, shit. shit! We're saved! Oh, that's bright. And I looked up, and there they were just in the middle of the flipping road, waving their hands and arms like a bunch of crazy. The surviving crew managed to reach the safety of the mainland. Mark made it off the boat alive. Doggy was alive. Where are you coming in from? Uh, Fort Wayne. Been driving since 3 a.m. Early start. Well, I was trying to get into the port by 8. Probably not going to make that now, am I? Happier I'd ending trophy! You know what? Wait, what was the bearing? The dog made it to the mainland. Doggy! Doggy's alive! I think I'm gonna see about that studio in Brooklyn. See if I can make it work. I think that would be great for you. Yeah. I suppose I could get used to how they fuck up hot dogs. And pizza. What? Well, I have some leads in New York for work. I mean, 
if that's okay. I I I don't want to invite myself if. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, it's fine with me. More than fine. Aww. Yay! We love love. Are Jamie and Eric gonna kiss too? So, come on! Not the right time to ask this, but oh god, what? Girlfriend? Are we like, like, are, are we a thing? <laughs> Dude, trauma bonding is legit hot. Fuck yes, we're a thing. Love is love, people! Hey, I think you dropped this when you were running for your life back there. Jamie gave Aaron her chapstick back when they reached the mainland. Oh. Ah, young love! Everyone, Charlie's the only one who doesn't have love, but I know! We got two people in, two couples in love, four people in love. I love this. This warms my heart in the best way possible. Need a smoke, buddy. <sighs> yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to quit. Good on you, Charlie. Oh. Young love. Oh. Charlie is just... Charlie can have the dog. Charlie, Charlie and a dog can be a thing. I really love the music. It's really calming. The music is really beautiful. And that ruined it. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, curator guy. Well, how did I do, eh? I kept everyone alive, so... That's something. Wait, why are you writing down all their names? Watch too much supernatural. Oh, you're here. What the hell was that? All good things must come to an end. But how good was the end for our crew? Hats off for keeping all of them alive. That's so rewarding. Thank you. For you. Has the experience changed them? For sure. Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago. But she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. Perhaps that helped her see how important Mark's love was to her. What is love? Jamie learned Baby, she had to trust me. other people Sorry. and work with them. And to care for them. Jamie came a long way. Mark had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way in the world. And he did, like a hero. And that helped him find his way back to Kate. Erin showed everyone that though she might be easily spooked, she found immense courage when she needed it the most. Proud of Erin. And it took courage to act on the feelings she had for Jamie. And Charlie we stand, finally Aaron. understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He really came around, though. He, had to he did. them as equals and let them take the lead. When the time was right. He did. 
He did. They all came through for each other in the end. I'm really proud of them. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I kind of don't want to... No doubt we'll meet again. I kind of don't want to leave through the door. Future. Because Farewell. there might be a hellhound on the other side. There's something on the other side to try to come in. So I technically don't know if I want to go out that way. But... Uh-oh. Is Waffle right? Is he not dead? No way. He got torn to pieces by the propeller of the boat. Please no. Oh my god. The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. Waffle was right! What we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render aid. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The injured are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems I like though that they got a little too close to their subject material. Thankfully for them, the nightmare is finally over. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? If you bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all expense pay trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Yeah, Mr. I'm not. says they're gonna send a limo and everything. This is gonna be so much fun. Uh, girl, you might want to not go there. Girl, trust me, you don't want to go there. If you love your life... Oh, he's standing in the window. He's not dead, for fuck's sake. Are you kidding me? Oh no. I was about to say, did my game crash again? I will respond to the chat in a minute. I'm just processing everything. I, I'm just really, really processing everything that happened here. I'm just... Oh, I don't know if this is a copyrighted song. Uh, 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 shit, 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 shit. How do I get out? Oh, no, okay. I'm just gonna have to keep talking like this. I don't know if this is a copyrighted song. I don't know. I have no clue. I can't stop it. I cannot stop this. I don't know how to stop this. Can I stop this? Is there any way I can stop the music? I can't? Okay, I just have to keep talking like this. Okay. 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 Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, uh, I don't know how to stop this. How do I? I don't know how to. I don't know how to. I, I, I can't turn it off. Uh, okay. I just. I, I have no idea. Uh, uh, um, can I keep talking over this? I don't know. Can I? Uh, probably cannot. Uh, this is not going to go well. I think this is going to be muted. So I should not say anything interesting because it's going to get muted anyway. So great. Wonderful. Love that they always put music and, and, and in games that's just going to be copyrighted by Twitch and by YouTube. That's wonderful. Absolutely great. Um, absolutely expl ex ex splendid, you know. I don't know what to say. I have no idea what to say. I don't know. I, I can't just keep talking like this. How can I stop this for fuck's sake? Oh my god. This whole section is going to get muted entirely. This is so annoying. How do I how do I keep talking like this? I don't know if I think I don't know if I can do this. Um, uh, what can I think about? Uh, I don't know, guys. In the meantime, why don't you? Um, uh, I don't know. I don't I have no idea. I can't turn the sound down. I can't. There's no way. I cannot do that. I don't have that because uh, I'm streaming directly from my PS4. I do not have that opportunity. I thought I'd turn off the music in the game, but apparently I did not. So I I cannot do anything about this other than just talking over this and hope it ends soon. 
But apparently it will not... Uh, no, I cannot press anything. I'm trying. I, I am... I'm literally trying to push all the buttons I can think of. Nothing's working. It's definitely not... Nothing's working. Nothing. Nothing is working at all. So, um... Great. Okay, um... It's... It's just... Uh, great. In the meantime, why don't you guys start writing down your thoughts about the game in the comments so I can... So we can go through all of that. I will, uh... I will try and get through chat, but I can't talk over this as much. So, um... Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, no, okay. Um, uh, I, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> you know what, in the meantime, I'll just tweet about St. Patrick's Day, because as an Irish descendant, I completely forgot to, uh, to, um, you know, as an Irish descendant, I completely forgot that it is St. Patrick's Day. Forgot that it's... Saint, is there, does anybody else uh, celebrate St. Patrick's Day normally? I, I normally do. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I, I just completely forgot. It was a weird day, okay? It was a really weird day. I completely forgot because my teacher's name is Patrick. And I was supposed to remember it, but um, I completely forgot. Which is, you know, stupid. I know, it's completely stupid. Uh, are we done? Finally. Oh my god. Oh, now I can skip to the end. Oh, wonderful. Well, thank you. Of course. Wonderful. Alright, well, I can finally catch up with chat now. I can, I can lower down my volume. Holy fuck. Okay. Oh, Alright, what did I miss? Um... Uh, my friends be like, I'm sad, I'll protect you. I mean, I'm kind of the same. I, I would, I always try and protect my friends. Don't eat and drive. I mean, technically, I eat and drive all the time. <laughs> I do, I do admit, it's not a, it's not a recommendation, no. They did that to teach the value of working together. Only 14% of player got the first year. Oh, really? Oh. Wait, I don't even know, wait. What is my... Wait, let me double check. What does the status say now? Uh, happier ending. The dog made off the island alive. Oh, wait, I don't have that one. Everyone survived. Hey, I don't have happy ending. Or is that- Oh, that's probably coming after the credits. Ah, uh, I didn't ship them? Wait, who did I not ship? Did it, wait, I, I was shipping Aaron and Jamie and Kate and Mark from the start, though. So who do you who do you mean? Oh, good, you got Mark and Kate together, though. Oh yeah, I I did that from the start as well as Jamie and Aaron. The second I could let them kiss, I mean, love is love. I I I support all kinds of love. So Charlie be like, don't leave me. <laughs> yes. Oh, you did get Jamie and Aaron together. Oh yeah, definitely. Love is love. Uh, I the second I knew they had a thing for each other, I. Yeah, I had to. Charlie's in love with the job. <laughs> For real, Charlie. Charlie and the job is just uh, a very, very, yeah, close relationship for sure. Imagine if they had every single character from each game and made it into one big game. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! What if he's behind the act? Yeah, what if the curator is actually the master of all of this? He's like the. He's like everything. It would make sense, because he was crossing off names. It would make a lot of sense, because this was the finale of season one of this whole gaming franchise. So, there's probably going to be a season two. And I'm thinking there's going to be a trailer after the credits as well. I can hardly wait for the next one. These and Life is Strange are my favorite series. I, I agree, definitely. Yeah, I am... Uh, this was the end of season one, so I'm really curious to see what they're going to do for season two. And what we're going to stumble across there. Keeping them alive is canon. For real. It's, yeah, I mean, I think trying to keep characters alive your first try is definitely canon. Oh! Here we go. This is Commander Stafford, the forward reconnaissance vessel in Cassiopeia. After successfully rendezvousing with a Charybdis marker, we have detached the booster ring and spurts are high as we make our final approach to Tau City F. Space? The ship has suffered a hull impact, but damage is minimal. I love and space! Technicians are restoring full function. Oh, this is getting me hyped! <laughs> I love space! Something's wrong with ships. 
She's trying to kill me. I think. I love space and the Our universe. Next will be broadcast from orbit around humanity's future home. Staff it out. Directive 1820. Oh, season two premiere. Oh, that's so cool. I love space. Oh, that's getting me so hyped. Oh, <laughs> that got my gamer heart bumping. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That seemed amazing. I love everything space. Yay, happy ending trophy. <laughs> Woo. Oh, man. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Uh, not really, no. I mean, technically, yes. And also, no. I don't really know. Ask me again. <laughs> uh, did you find the trailer for the next game? Uh, apparently, it, it just happened. <laughs> if you did that sound, it might make sense. Ah, I see it now. It's him! Sequel? He's wearing the exact hat. I know. I know. I'm, I, don't, I don't like the look of that. Oh, no. <laughs> It's staycations from now and out. His new victims. Oh, yeah. Lovely! He's not done murdering. Great. This song. Yeah, I know. This song. It's Pablo Domain. Oh, okay. The next game must be space related because it's 2080 related. Yeah, you, are, you called it out, Waffle. You were completely right on that. Um, the sound itself is... Oh, okay. Game was scary. Not actually a bad song. I love this song. It's, uh, it's always the start ever since the second game came out, I think. Oh, I love that song. No, I don't. Oh, <laughs> we call it Amateur Night here in the city. <laughs> amateur Night. I skipped this in Spider-Man Homecoming and then I got a lecture from Captain America about patience. <laughs> you know, I, I watched um, Shazam! The Fear of the Gods today, the film. I stayed for the credit scenes. I do the same with Marvel. You have to stay for the credit scenes. They're the best ones. No, I was talking about the Walking Dead game, about the 14%. Oh! Ah! I can also probably check that. I think I have, uh... I probably have that. Let me check. Um... Uh, uh, oh, I played the Walking Dead such a long time ago. Um... It's all the way to the bottom. The Walking Dead. Let me see. Uh... Oh wait, there is no... Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, I thought I remember Jamie and Aaron sitting close together when I finished, so I thought they weren't shipped. I thought I remembered. Oh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I made all the choices which could get them together. Because uh, at some point, Jamie and Aaron said to each other like, Please come back to me, and then they, you know... So I, I thought I did good, but maybe... In space, no one can hear you scream. <laughs> That's very true, Kay. That's a very valid one. Yeah, when he was screaming, it was to no avail. I bet it's a monster alien enemy. I hope so. I love monsters. I love enemy. I love aliens. Um, I'm a huge fan of the band Star Set. I saw them for the third time last Saturday. Their songs are all about space and the beyond and the universe. And they always wear these space uh, suits. I love them, so I'm really, I love space. I'm really hyped for this game. Also, I read your Christmas card again yesterday and I almost had tears. Aww, I'm, I, I can't believe you still kept that card. No, it's going to be a space hotel. <laughs> Enjoy your stay in space. It's not the curator. He has a nicer butt than a killer. <laughs> he has a nicer butt than a killer. I have to agree, his butt was really nice. I have to agree there. I'm hyped for the next game. Me too! Super hyped! But I bet the creator will be in an astronaut suit. I would love to see that, not gonna lie. Same, I just remembered the end position of the characters incorrectly. Yeah, no, okay. I mean, maybe it could be, though. It could be that uh, because they did add more updates, it could very well be that in the recent update, they are a bit further away. It could, it could really be. I have no clue. Mass Effect related games are always good games. I really wanted to play Mass Effect. I do, but I just haven't... Yeah. I, I really, really wanted to play it. But, you know, yeah. I saw the price and I was like, mm, maybe, maybe, you know. 
At some point, I probably will buy them. But for now, I have too many, uh, <clears throat> too many games still left unplayed, you know? So I'm really happy that we finished this one, at least. Um, okay, let me give my thoughts. It's finally time. So I, I read a lot of shit about this game. Many people hated it. Many people were bashing. Um, the only thing I disliked is the buttons sometimes. The game had these, uh, you know, the, the, the heart beating sequence. I pressed the button correctly. However, in the game, and I've read that multiple times, um, the buttons are sometimes messed up. And no matter how well you do, the game is like, nope. So that's not my problem. Um, the game has some faults in the buttons. But hey, we managed, uh, we still got everyone alive. So even though I had to restart sometimes, because as I mentioned before, when I do something wrong, or I am certain I pressed a button wrong, I will take the death. But when I'm 100% sure I pressed the button and the game with its faults and bugs is like, you did not, I will restart because that's not fair. Um, but I really loved the game, actually. I really loved the continuous feeling of being haunted, uh, hunted and being threatened and having to look over your shoulder and all these walls moving around and the traps and I really loved it. I loved how menacing the killer was just walking after you, stalking you. Um, I loved the characters, even though Jamie's face was reused. The other ones were unique, basically, I mean from the crew. Um, I think it was really fun to see how they were so distant at the beginning and all had their personalities and then at the end Going through all of that together. There there's different kind of people their traits have changed and they've changed for the better So I really loved seeing that change in relationships um, I definitely love this game a lot more than um, uh, Man of Medan and House of Ashes even Little Hope, I think. I think this game was a really, really... Um, yeah, I, I really loved this game. I mean, I was supposed to hate it because I read all these reviews. I disagree with those. I think it was a really good game. I think it was way better in the whole scheme of all their games. Like, um... Like, okay, so Man of Medan is... The, it was a good game, don't get me wrong. But, I don't know, at some point, I, I just... I was... Uh, some characters were just really annoying. You know? And I just couldn't really... I didn't really like them, except for Conrad. And the other ones were just, eh, you know? Um, I like Brad, but... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I didn't really like the lady. I forgot her name. but And I also didn't like the other lady, the boat lady. I, I don't know. And then we had um, Little Hope. I loved that game only for the fact that one of my favorite actors was the uh, main character, uh, Will Tudor. Uh, he played uh, Andrew, you know, the main character. That was the only reason I liked the game. But the game, I don't know, it was so it's such a weird game. Because at the end, the characters all came to the house. And I don't know, it was all in Andrew's head. So no one technically died except for Andrew, if, if you would have killed him. So I don't know. I don't. I wasn't really too hot for Little Hope. Um, then uh, House of uh, Ashes was okay, but I don't know. I I loved Salim and um, oh fuck, what is his name? Jason. I loved their relationship and the uh, like the friendship. Which was blooming. I really disliked uh, Rachel. I don't know. She was really eh. Eric was also not really... I don't know. He was a bit bitchy. A bit macho. Like, oh, look at me. I'm a blonde guy. And I have a prosthetic leg. Um, yeah, I don't know. Man of, House of Ashes is kind of eh. Um, but this game... I mean, I, I didn't like all the characters as in the beginning. I mean, Charlie was a dick. Jamie was a bitch. <laughs> kind of. Kate was a bit echocentric. She had a huge ego. Um, I loved Mark and, and Aaron, definitely. Um, okay, so if I would put them in perspective. I think definitely The Devil in Me is my favorite. Then I think Little Hope. No. I don't... I Actually, I do think Little Hope. I don't know. Oh, that's tough. 
Oh, no, I mean, this was definitely a spot one. And I think... Okay, no, I actually did like the zombie aspect of House of Ashes. I think... But I mean, I would only like little hope for the fact that Will... I'm, I'm saying Will Turner, that's not even the guy. I'm, I'm completely... I'm sorry, it's a different Will. Will Poulter, sorry. I, I, it's because I know two Wills from actors. Will Poulter was who played. I love Will Poulter, so... But only to put that game in the second spot because I liked him is not fair. Because the game was just really bad, in all honesty. Um, I mean, plot-wise. So, oh, that's so tough. I have to think about that. Um, let me see. Where uh, I have to think about that. I'll come back to that. What was your reaction to me reading the card again? I'm watching two things at once. Oh, no, I mean, I said, like, it's, it's, I love it that you still kept the card. Because I also have some friends who just throw away such cards and are like, eh, don't care. I have played the quarry, yes. I completely platinumed it, yeah. I also played uh, Until Dawn, so I played all their games up until now. Well, that's not true. There's apparently another game which is completely different. I don't know the name, uh, but it's something completely different. But, yeah, I played the quarry. Um, yeah, I watched both. Yeah, I, I played Quarry and House of Ash on stream. Yes, I didn't play the other three because I played those before I was streaming. There were a couple of times you were meant to foil the quake. The, the, oh, okay. The test for the story flow. Which is messing with us up. Oh, okay. Well, I, I also heard from many people that actually the buttons were uh, fucked up. Like, they couldn't fix it. That was a bug in the system. They fixed that multiple times. So it's it, it might be a combination of both, but... Imagine if these games are somehow connected in some way. I highly doubt it, but I'd like it to be. No, I think it's. I think there is a bigger thing to this. Because it's a season, right? And the curator keeps coming back. So he's definitely something. And all these games, because they, their faces keep coming back as well. So there has to be something magical, multiverse going on here. I guess it has to be such a close little hope, but I think of it as a tie. I yeah, I, I, I feel you. I feel you. Oh, it's really tough to to put this in perspective. You have to work on your typing. <laughs> no worries, no worries, no no worries at all. For some reason I like you throwing shade to games. Oh really? <laughs> well I'm glad you like it. Uh did you know it was his last words? He confessed, saying, I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer. No more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. He was executed on this day in 1896. I know, yes, I know. I know about that waffle. I know, yeah. Really weird last words, but... House of Ashes had too, so many bugs. If at least I got too frustrated with it, I actually got stuck at one point and could not complete it until it was updated two weeks later. House of Ashes did have loads of bugs. Yeah, I agree. It did. Um... Especially the, um, when, at some point, you have to uh, walk stealthily through the, um, oh god, the core, you know, of all the, the, the cocoons and all that stuff. And, like, when you step on those green things and it just goes pop. And then, yeah, those, those zombies come out, the vampires, yeah. There were loads of bugs in that game, I know. I sent a picture and I came across it. I, stu I, stu I do still have the card you sent for my graduation, though. Oh! The oh, I see what you mean now. Aww. <laughs> They're all connected to the curator. Yeah, I, exactly. Yeah, no. There's a, this guy plays a much bigger role than we all think. I guess they're just gonna keep us in the in the in in this in suspense, right? This is this is the cliffhanger. True though. I love history. Too bad I don't t didn't take an American history course. I do love history as well. Yeah. I, I I'm not saying like I'm not. Okay, don't get me wrong on this. I'm not like fascinated by serial killers, but there's something intriguing about them, like. I can't be the only one who watches a, a serial killer documentary and is like, huh. It's just, it's so interesting how wicked some brains work, you know? How they have the devil in them and, and have these voices in their head telling them to kill someone. Or thinking they do, like, righting the wrong, you know? Finding justice or revenge or something. I just, I'm not saying, I don't, don't get me wrong. I, I'm completely against murder. I don't console any serial killers, but I'm just saying... It's so interesting how their brains work from a scientific perspective, you know what I mean? So, I hope you guys don't get this the wrong way, but I, yeah, I, I probably should stop talking because I'm probably only making it worse. Um, but yeah. 
history in school was so boring. I mean, in a way, yeah. I mean, for us, um, I, 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 history has always been one of my favorite uh, subjects in school. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I just love it. History is always so diverse. You know, there are so many things that happen throughout history. It's, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I, I get what you mean, though. It could also be boring, but it really depends also on your, on your teacher. I think. Okay, um, but, okay, let me rate this game. I think definitely four and a half out of five. I'm not giving it five stars, because there are some bugs in this. Um, definitely four and a half. Definitely four and a half stars. Um, so, okay, let me think about all the six games they made. Now, I, it wouldn't be fair, because Until Dawn and The Quarry are completely different games. They're complete standalones. Um... Okay, let me think about it. Um, okay, I'm go I'm gonna force myself to make a top four. Okay, the definitely me, definitely on my number one spot as of right now. Um, mm, I'm trying to think, cause I mean. Mm, Men of Medan was... It had its moments. But it was also like... I don't know. It took a really long time before you got to the ship. And then once you got there, it was taken by these pirates. And... I don't know. Men of Medan doesn't... It didn't really stuck to me, you know? Little Hope, neither. So I think House of Ashes would actually be my second spot. But only because there was so much action going on. You know, like the... You had uh, the guy with the spear chasing you and the vampires, and y you were also at war with the Iraqi people. There were three types of enemies, so I really like that. So I think House of Ashes is actually going to be my second. And then... Ooh. Because, I mean, Men of Medan was just a stupid gas, you know, like the poison, the vog. Kind of a little hope as well. Like, there wasn't really something... I don't know. I think that my third pick... Ah, Men of Medan, a little hope. Ooh. Okay, I think solemnly because of Will Poulter, Little Hope is going to be my third pick and Man of Medan my fourth. I don't know. Man of Medan just doesn't stick with me. There's nothing really reminiscent about it. It's like, it was a game. It was a good one. Like, you know, like that. Uh, but if we talk about the quarry and Until Dawn, then it changes completely different. Because then the devil in me goes to third spot. The quarry goes to the first, and until dawn to the second. So, but they're standalone, so it doesn't it doesn't really do them justice if I were to include them in my top whatever. Oh, I learned about medicine through time. Yeah, I mean, medicine is also like very intriguing. I I know too much about medication, but that's because of my family's history with medical illnesses. You might have already see, have seen it. If if not, don't forget to watch the documentary. Oh, there's a documentary. Really. Are those bonus features? I'm guessing so. I'm surprised you kept Charlie alive considering you so badly wanted him dead. <laughs> I mean, I, I know at the beginning I did. But, um... Oh, this one. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Oh, this is probably for the money. Okay. Cool. Now, I'm going to watch those in my spare time, I think. I didn't know that. But I mean, Charlie did come through at the end. He wasn't such a bad guy. And I mean, the death he could have had, like, in burning to, to death or being crushed by rubbish, like the incinerator thing, I don't wish that kind of death upon him, you know? I, he was a jerk, but he wasn't that bad. Little Hope was more cerebral. You had to really connect the dots to get what was going on. Not a lot of action. No, no, I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. But I kind of had the same with Men of Medan, because it was like... This haunted ship. But before you got there, you were just out on the sea. And you were eventually taken by pirates. And they took you to the ship. And then... 
I don't know. I mean, I get where you're coming from, but I mean, they were all just freaking out. Like, nothing was really real. They were all just freaking out because of something. They saw something and then it was just the other person. And that also, it was kind of like Little Hope in a sense. But I, 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 I agree with you. Um, Little Hope didn't have much action either. But for me, Little Hope just stuck more. But that's, again, I'm a bit biased because Will Porter played in it. So I admit I'm biased because of that. Um, but yeah, no, I, I agree with you. I think Little Hope definitely had less action than Men of Medan. I wholeheartedly agree. But if I have to choose, it's, it's just because of Will Poulter. I can't help it. I just love the guy, you know? <laughs> Rami Malay did a good job in Until Dawn. I know. I love Josh. Rami is one of my favorite actors of all time. He's a, I, I, I've, I have almost seen all of his work, so... I first loved him in Night Museum. I know, Akmara. I love my Akmara. He was so young there. I mean, not young, young, but he was a lot younger and so smooth in skin. And man, he was so handsome. Is still handsome, but in as Akmara, oh man, he was handsome. Yes, there are some great bonus features. I saw this documentary when it first came out a few years ago. Serial killer stuff is really my thing, but this one pulled me in. I'm glad you say that, because when I just said, like, I'm intrigued by serial killer documentaries, I was afraid that you would look at me like, are you okay? Are you, are you, are, should we be worried? So I'm really glad that you are kind of agreeing with me. Um, yeah, no, I, I will definitely watch them in my spare time for sure. I know I miss Robin Williams as well. I miss Teddy. He was an amazing Teddy. He was an amazing genie and Mrs. Doubtfire. He was so many amazing people. I got, you got to let your kitty out. Oh, don't say the word kitty around me and Marit. <laughs> don't, you don't use the word kitty around us. It's not gonna end well, trust me. It's not gonna end well. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to watch your train wreck. I no, I mean I agree. I definitely agree. I, I I wholeheartedly agree. You have to sometimes. I no, true, you can't turn your eyes. No no. I mean, um I don't know if you guys know about the axe killer, the axe murder house. There is a, an axe murder house in America. Um uh I I don't know how to pronounce it, but Feliska Axe Murder House. I've watched a documentary of that one as well, and it's 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 actually a museum now. Um, it's a really interesting story. It's really gruesome, though. It's it's awful what happened to the family in the house, but it's just such an interesting, I don't know, thing in a way. Kitty go. Well, there you go. See, you made Marit say it. <laughs> Marit said it. The damage has been done. No, but I mean, in all honesty, I really liked the game. Um, I, 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 again, I read all the bad words, all the bad reviews. Um, and I am really, I really loved the game. Um, yeah, I, I really loved it. I, I, yeah. Yeah. So this is just a prime example. When you read a bad review about a game, uh, a film, a series, or a book... Don't believe it. Go watch and see it for yourself and then judge. And then have your own opinion. Because what somebody dislikes is what you might like. And what somebody likes is what you might dislike. So don't ever go off on bad reviews. Because there is always a small amount of people, despite all the haters, there's always this tiny amount of people who love it. And you might be one of them. So... Don't ever turn your back on a bad review. Just see and witness it for yourself, experience it for yourself, and then make up your mind. That's my advice for today. <laughs> Kay be like, oh no. <laughs> I found a doc you found a doc sitter. That's good. I'm happy. I'm happy you found someone. That's good news. Haters are always going to hate. I've had to learn to read between the lines. No, I mean, same. Again, that's why I'm saying I was... Uh, but I mean, I loved their previous games, uh, so I had to play this one. I mean, I played all the other ones before this, so, you know, I love the company, so I, I was going to play it anyway, despite the bad reviews. Got to spend four hours with my parent in the car, but I'm going to learn to drive in Easter. In Easter? That's pretty quick. Ooh, you're going to love driving. I can't live without my driving license. I, I love being able to drive, so I'm sure you're going to like it as well. 
I read bad reviews about my favorite game after I played it, and it st still stings. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I had the same. I mean, I there's always people are always hating on things. Um, I mean, it's it, of course. Don't get me wrong. It's good to stay critical, to have an opinion, to be judgmental. But there is a certain degree, you know, like you shouldn't bash on something. There's there are always good things to find in anything bad. There's nothing completely bad. There's always something positive to be found amongst everything. So, you know, if you if you've ever seen something really bad, there's always something, even if it's a tiny thing, there's always something positive about it. Jerry didn't have that good reviews, but I loved it. Exactly. Yeah, no, I mean, that's what I'm saying. There are so many films I love with my whole heart, and there are always people bashing about them. And I'm like, okay, good for you. Keep your opinion to yourself. That's fine. Like, you can be critical, but don't go hate on something. You know, if you, like, um, like, uh, you, you guys remember when I played the game, um, uh, 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 Made of Skirt, right? Fucking bad game. But I did like the ending. Like, it was really intriguing that you had two endings. And I, we've seen both. And I was really intrigued by how different they were. So despite the game being absolutely bad in every way possible, there was something positive, And that was the ending. That was really well written. So I'm just saying, there's always something good to be found amongst anything bad. There are so many shows I love that people hate. They hate it so much that they have to go to the fan pages to complain and it gets so... Oh, yeah. I know, I know. I that's the th I have seen that for Supernatural, for Shadowhunters. So many... And Teen Wolf as well. So many series I love. And again, I get it when you don't like something. That's completely valid. But first of all, be reasonable. Second of all, be kind. You are allowed to have an opinion. You are allowed to have arguments. But please say them kindly. And when someone says something, you can be like, okay, I hear you, I disagree, however, and this is why. And then the other one can respond with, okay, I see where you're coming from, but I also disagree with you, and this is the reason why. If we do it like that, the world will be a much nicer place. We can just have discussions. No one needs to hate on everyone. No one needs to be, you know, hated on. Nobody needs to be, uh, well, basically wished to death sometimes, because... Trust me, some fans go that far in wishing people dead because they don't see their views and opinions and blah blah blah. That's toxic. I watched The Walking Dead only because my favorite actor is in it. Oh, uh, is is it? Uh, I I would I also wanted to watch The Walking Dead, but there are so many seasons. I don't think I could commit to that. But then again, I started watching Supernatural, which is 15 seasons, so that that argument no longer is valid uh, but do you mean norman bates is that his name from death stranding could that be your favorite actor just guessing because i don't that's the only guy i know from the walking dead people tell me detroit is bad and i'm like okay um i mean i love detroit become human i still do i just don't like it as much anymore because i've played so many different games um and I don't I let I still love the Tropic of Human because that's what got me most of my friends on the internet. But there I don't know. I just don't like the game as much anymore. I think it's because I've seen it too many times, I've played it too many times, there's too much hype about it in our community. I kind of just stayed away from it. You know, for now. I just I don't know. It just doesn't resonate with me as much anymore. I still love it. I, I love the game. I do. I love Connor. I love Simon. I love all of them. But it's just, I don't know. For now, I'm a bit too... I, I, I don't know. It's kind of overlooked, I think. It's a bit too overhyped at the moment for me. But I still love it. I have to look a little bit, but I'll try my best to be back as soon as possible. Don't worry, Kay. I mean, I'm, I'm, there's nothing really left to do. So the stream is likely going to end by the time you're back. Um, so I don't know if you're still here, but uh, I wish you a good weekend in advance and hope to see you again in future streams. You said 15 in Dutch, I thought. Oh, no, sorry. It's... I, like I said, I have a Scottish-Irish accent, so sometimes my uh, accent comes through. Like, when I say car, or sometimes... Like, okay, so in Ireland, we say 15. Um, so, in in Ireland, when you say I, it's oi. So, we don't say Ireland, we say Ireland. And, and you know, and, and like, time is time. 
So 15 is like sometimes someone like the word five is five. And then in Ireland we sometimes make the funny, well, combination of foifteen. And I heard from some people as well, indeed, that it sounds like the Dutch word for it. But obviously the word in English is 15. But in Irish, in Gaelic Irish, we sometimes go like 15. So it's, it's the foy. The foy, foy, you know, it's the oi sound. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, some fans harass the actor because of it. it annoys me. The actors are still human. That is exactly my point with Supernatural as well. They are sometimes bashing on Jensen and Jared and Misha and I'm like, fuck off. They're playing characters. As well as the girl, Laura Bailey, who played Abby. I don't like Abby. I'm sorry, I don't. I dislike her very much. There's nothing about her I like. I don't- I can't blame that on Laura Bailey. She was portraying a character and it's just a character. It's a fictional character, it doesn't exist. Um, I'm still I'm still attached to Joel and the whole world and um, and also to other comfort characters but I still am able to separate fiction from reality and some people cannot and that is where your toxic your toxic traits get through that's just lets you know about the bad taste and poor judgment no I I wholeheartedly agree that's exactly right squeeze exactly right so much hate to Jocelyn and Laura. Yes, exactly. Yes. I played it only once because it's sometimes becomes a bit overwhelming, but also because of David Cage. Oh yeah, I heard many things about David Cage. I don't want to talk about any of that. In Dutch it's Yeah, I, I know, I know. Someone told me that, but um like I said in, in Irish, like uh time, like the I, the the, the vowel I, we say oi. So, you know, when when you have a sentence like um Okay, let me let me write something down because um Okay, so when you have like five on time, you know, like you say oi, like I say five on time, but in, in Irish it's like five on time. So it's like oi. So and like I said, like we have this Gaelic thing when we say fifteen and it's like it sounds like fifteen and also like five and then the combination is fifteen. It's it's Irish is weird. <laughs> uh, I still take what they said with a pinch of salt, and as you should, I you should always take that with a pinch of salt. Yes, waffle. It's very emotional and intense. No, I, I, it is. I agree. I I wholeheartedly agree. It is very intense. I I, I it's very very. I played it myself. <laughs> Hate the character, not the actor. Exactly. Yes. I mean, it's the same with um, uh, Dolores Umbridge from Harry Potter. Hate the character. I do, my whole heart. But you can't blame it on the actress. She did it in a, a lot. You know, I always say it like this. When you hate a character so much, the actor has done an amazing job. And that's how you can separate it. Hey, Fire Crystal. Hello, friend. It's good to see you. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome in, friend. How's it going? Well, we finished the game. Um, so we're kind of okay. Um, it's It went great. Everyone's alive. I kept everyone alive, so... Yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> if you hate a character so much that you transfer it to the performer, that just means the actor is doing a fantastic job. Exactly! Exactly my words! Yeah, no! Great minds think alike, Squeeze. Great minds think a lot alike. <laughs> when I leave Comic Con, I'm gonna be like missing Thunder Hours. Oh, you're gonna have so much fun. Oh, you're gonna have so much fun. Hopefully, that won't be the last time I see him. I don't think so. I think you're gonna see each other a lot more. I'm Irish and Scottish, mostly Scottish. There is a Mackenzie, and then there is a. Ma oh yeah, I yeah I know I know. In in um, that's right. Yeah, the, in Irish it's like you have these like because also, <laughs> like I explained that b during the stream. But like in Irish, um, like in in Scottish it's like, okay. So in in British it's like garden, right? It's garden. In Irish it's garden, and then in Scottish it's like garden. Like, it, 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 all these different accents, and th it's just so funny, because the Irish add uh, vowels, and then Scottish remove them, but then Scottish add vowels, and the Irish remove them, and then British comes in, and it's all over the place with all these accents, so yeah. Irish is Mackenzie, yeah. You have Mackenzie and Mackenzie, it's like Mc and Mac, you know, it's McMac. It's kind of a vowel shift, you know. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, a, I, I'm really happy we kept them all alive. When I go to Comic-Con, I'll be like, Ellie's on her way to get revenge. Oh no, she's on her way to Comic-Con. 
<laughs> I love that you're gonna be Ellie, Marit. I'm really happy. I, I can't wait to see your cosplay. I haven't been live lately due to school and poor mental health. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. I'm sorry. I hope you get a bit well, uh, more... Yeah. I hope you get better soon and feel well. Um, you don't deserve to feel bad. I wish I was bigger because I would squeeze you until you pop. <laughs> you want to let me pop, Waffle? Challenge accepted. No, I'm kidding. Honestly, I, you know, I, I hug very tightly. So I'm always having to tell myself to hug carefully because I you know I have a lot of strength in my biceps so in my muscles so I need to be very careful when I hug smaller people because I might accidentally crush them thanks to your genes you you ain't height doesn't matter friend what's inside here that's what matters yep <laughs> yep <laughs> that sounds really messy <laughs> <laughs> Popping me sounds really messy. I mean, yeah, I love the Irish. It's soft like butter. Yeah, no, it, it's true. It, it is. Get a load of sky. <laughs> Get a lot of me on you. I have sky on me. <laughs> I'm also excited to be Ellie. I also splurged and bought an Ellie wig. Oh, nice. I'm happy it's coming together like that, friend. I'm really happy. You love strong hugs? Well, I mean, I give hugs sometimes too strong. Like, sometimes... I had one friend, she was a lot smaller than I was, and I hugged her, and she was like, I can't breathe. And I was like, oh, sorry. Me and my colleague hugged last year, and we stayed like there for like a minute, and wow, that felt good. I was like... F I so Such hugs are really nice. But I mean more like the tight hugs, like the longer hugs, they're nice. But my hugs sometimes get to, like, crushing. That's not a good one. Those hugs are very breathtaking, literally. <laughs> I was like, fuck money. Good. Fuck money. In Irish, we say fuck. Not fuck, but fuck. I really love fuck. I don't use it as much, but we go fuck. You know, like, fuck off. Instead of fuck off, you know. Saving for school and driving is... Those are lovely goals. Definitely good goals, Waffle. Good goals. Good money-saving goals, for sure. Um, yeah, I mean... Wow, okay, guys, we finished the game. It's done. It's, it's, everyone's alive. We're, we did it. I don't know how, but we did. <laughs> People easily lift you up. People are too heavy for me. I mean, I can, I can lift 90 kilos. So technically, I can basically lift any adult if they're not too fat. <laughs> that sounds really mean, but I can lift up to 19 kilos. That's like my, my my record like i did a a, a a lifting exercise once like a challenge and then i had 90 so 90 is a lot of kilos no popping here oh you don't know that you don't know that don't say that don't change yourself <laughs> no i'm kidding um okay let me check um okay next week um i think there's only gonna be one stream and we are going to continue Resident Evil Revelations then. Uh, I don't know which day yet. Either ch Thursday or Friday. It really depends on my homework. I think Friday. I think Friday is the safest. But I don't... I can't say for sure. Um, the Resident Evil remake comes out next Friday as well. But I don't want to start that and having to put it down for a lot of weeks. So next week's stream is going to be the continuation of Resident Evil Revelations. And then we're going to have to wait for Resident Evil full remake. And I'm so hyped about it. And I'm really upset and sad that I can't play it. And I'm, I'm actually close to tears every time I think about it. But I'm just going to have to live with it and live a little longer to see the game. Um, and hopefully get through my uni exams as quickly as I can so I can play the game. But next week is going to be one stream only, I'm afraid. And it's going to be Resident Evil Revelations. Either Thursday or Friday. Presumably Friday. Same time as today. Um, so that's 2 hours and 15 minutes early time is for right now. 6 p.m. GMT, 7 p.m. CET. Oh no, wait. That's... No, wait. Summertime is... When is summer... Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. When is the summertime coming and uh, beginning, actually? I think it's soon, right? Next weekend. Okay. Okay, so that's not yet. Okay, so then I said it right. Okay, good. So 6 p.m. GMT, 7 p.m. CET. Right. Right. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, 
You go to the film alone. I went to the film alone today as well, which was my third time going alone. I went to Doctor Strange alone and to, uh, uh, well, today to Shazam alone and to Morbius. Oh, I only went to Marvel and DC alone. <laughs> Funny. Hugging smaller people is so awkward. Like, what do I do? Do I crouch or do I just hug normal? And then you kind of squish the person in your boobs. Um, one thing I've learned from smaller people, they don't want you to crouch. They want you to just hug them with your length. Um, but that, I'm, I'm, I don't know if all small people are like that or smaller people. Some do like it when you crouch, but most of them don't like it because they feel, you know, intimidated by that. But I don't... I heard from smaller people that they like for it just to be hugged normal, but not saying all of them are like that. This will be the first time I won't be alone. Oh, I'm so happy you're not going to be alone, friend. I hope you're going to have an amazing time with your with them. I don't mind being pop. As long as it don't exist, it'll make the world a better place without me. Ain't that right? No! Waffle! No! Look me right in my eyes. Right here. These two eyes right here. The world would not be a better place without you. You belong here just as much as everybody else. And we love you. And I don't know how many times we have to tell you that. But you're one of us. Alright? You are. You belong here. You belong with us. And we love you. For you. For who you are. And we wouldn't be much better off if you were gone. I think we would all be much worse if you weren't here. So, please, just take it from me. That we need you as much as you need us. So, don't you ever get a cross in your head that you are better off. Or that we are better off without you. Because that's not true. And I don't know how many times I have to keep saying that. But I'll, ha I'll, I'll, I'll repeat it every fucking time if I have to. Or every fucking time, I should say. I mean it, Waffle. I mean, uh, it's it's not true. No, you wouldn't be forgotten. No, sh that's not true. It's really not true. There are so many people in the community who have left, and I still think about about some of them. There's people don't just disappear out of people's brains. Trust me. I just really wish I could convince you. I can't, but I I just really wish. I just really wish I could convince you. Uh, gonna be all those part two? I think so. Because my editing program won't allow me to squish together one hour and another hour. So I think there's gonna be two separate videos. Yeah. I'm afraid so. I might upload one part today and the other part tomorrow. I'm not sure. Uh, it depends on how quick it goes, the uploading. Okay, so with that being said... Um, you're pretty stubborn, but you've convinced me. Oh, I know you're stubborn. I don't. You don't have to tell me that. I I know you are, and I'm not gonna stop trying to poke through your stubbornness as much as I can, because I'm stubborn as heck as well. So I'm just gonna keep poking and pushing through your stubbornness until I get through it. I'm stubborn as hell as well. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So guys, thank you so much for joining today's finale stream. But I'm really glad that we finished it. I'm really glad that we saved everyone. That no one died. Um, I'm going to finish this game in terms of platinum it in my spare time. So once I have a, a platinum, I will likely update you guys on Twitter or something. Um, I'm, I'm, I am halfway through the trophies. I have 18 of the 31. So there's still a lot to be found. So I just have to look up and see how I um, get all of them. But I'm going to do it in my spare time once exams are over and I have more time to game, I guess. Um, so I'm not going to start any new games at the moment. I just want to platinum this one. And we're going to finish Resident Evil Revelations on stream. And then start Resident Evil 4 as soon as I can. Maybe even play two Resident Evil games at the same Well, I mean, I don't think Resident Evil Revelations is that long anymore. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember which episode we stopped at. And otherwise, we'll just pass that one and do Resident Evil 4 Remake first. Once I'm done with all my exams and have more time to frequently stream. And then we'll likely also pick a next game. Because I don't want to to play two Resident Evil games. Um, that would be stupid. So we'll see what happens. For now, next week is Resident Evil Revelations. And from there, we'll see what happens. You dreamed you met me. Really? I hope I hope it was a good meet. <laughs> see you next week. Yes, friend. My friends, when they have exams, tell me to leave them alone. So I leave you alone so I don't bother you. No, I mean... Um, it's not necessarily like that. But I need to put all my focus in my exams. Especially this... Era, this semester because I have three exams all three are really hard 
So I really need to put all my focus. I'm barely going to be able to game anyway. I'm barely going to be able to watch any films or series. So honestly, I'll likely have like a three week hiatus coming up. Or like less available on social media. So that's not on you. It's on me having to study for example. So if I ignore any of you, it's not me ghosting you. It's me being really busy trying to get through uni, you know. Thank you for the stream and wish you a fantastic week. Gotta get back to your drawing. Yeah, go back to your drawing. I'm really glad you are here, friend. Uh, good luck with your drawing. Have an amazing weekend. Thank you so much for joining. We really uh, appreciate having you here. It was really lovely to see you again. I'm really glad you are doing okay and, and were able to join us. It was a real privilege to have you. Um, so yeah, everyone have a good weekend. I'll see you guys next week. Uh, I'll, I'll tell the date... Or the day on the day itself. Um, but it's likely going to be Friday, I think. Because then I normally have finished all my homework. So I think it's likely going to be Friday. If it if it changes to Thursday, I'll let you guys know. But for now, I think it's going to be on Friday. Thank you for joining, Marit. Thank you as well, Waffle. I don't mind waiting to leave me on read for... T uh, no, no, no. I've never done that to you. Never. The, the, uh, if, if anything like that happens, I'll definitely tell you how long it's going to be. And I will still reply once I have a bit of free time and be like, hey, I'm still alive, you know. Um, so don't worry. I will not ghost you like that. I wouldn't. No, you are kind, Squeeze. You are kind as well. You're a real kind human being. So thank you for being you. You're an amazing person. Thank you so much for joining and, and just being you, you know. Nine plus five? What do you mean? That's 14. What do you mean with 9 plus 5? Am I not catching up on that? Or did I just... I'm confused. <laughs> I saw the photo of your cats. Yeah, you sent me that. I, I love I love seeing your cats snuggling. It's so cute. I really, I really, really, really love your cats. They're so adorable. They're so goddamn adorable. I thought of your dog, but he's ugly. No animals are ugly. Not one of them. Not the ones who are blind, not the ones who lost an eye, not the ones who have an ear less. There's not an animal on this planet who's ugly. So your dog is not ugly. Take it from me. Your dog is not ugly. I love all animals. They're all beautiful. Just like humans are all beautiful. Okay, uh, let me see who we can raid. Um, oh, I think raiding that person would be really nice. Wait, are they live? Jesse? Sorrel Spiral? I didn't know they were streaming. Are they streaming? Really? Are they actually streaming streaming? Cookie prep. For some reason her channel, their channel is not loading. They've been live for 24 minutes. I don't think they're actually live live. Maybe they've just gone offline. Can anyone check for me if they can access Sorrel Spiral stream? Just wondering how many gift subs I need to be first place. Oh, uh, 16. If you uh, if you wanted to be in first place, you need to have 16. But don't do that. Don't don't <laughs> don't don't do that right now. I mean, I don't want you to spend your money which you're saving for driving lessons and 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 that such. So. One day I will meet you and I will kill you with hugs. I was about to say, I read the I will kill you part and I was like, oh, well that escalated quickly. <laughs> okay, um, I'm really confused. For some odd reason, Sorrel Spiral stream is not loading. So I think they've gone offline. Let me check if Emma's stream is loading. Emma's stream is loading. Okay, so I think... That Sorrel Spiral is not really life life. I think they're offline. Okay, let us just raid Sor uh, Cheesy Chappers then. You go to Spain for language school. Ooh. That's cool. That's really cool. I love Spain. Alright, let me put up Cheesy Chappers. And... Jesse looks live, but it doesn't play. Yeah, no, that's also my issue. But I think... 
maybe they haven't they've they've gone offline then and it's just not coming through i don't know but we found another raid target and that's fine as well i'm not joining on the raid though um i have to do something real quick um but i hope you guys have fun raid and again everyone uh have an amazing good weekend stay hydrated uh, stay safe sleep well eat well just take care of yourself all right I want to knock your ears off by talking. <laughs> Challenge accepted, Waffle. <laughs> All right, have fun, right, everyone? Thank you again so, so much for joining today's stream. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Love you all so much.